Hello and welcome back to my channel Lady T. As you can see today I'm showing you some pictures and some videos uh, that I made in my first days of playing Animal Crossing New Horizons. I managed to get it on Wednesday because of Corona here in the Netherlands. Uh, the shop I pre-ordered my physical copy from uh, was closing down on Thursday, so they decided to sell it on Wednesday. Um, after talking about it with Nintendo, so I've been already playing the game for about two days now. Uh, the video that you're going to see today is of me time traveling a bit, uh, going through the first three days, but still going back to the 18th, so that I stay on uh, the right time track. So I really hope that you will enjoy. My, the first stages of my island. I'm still wondering why they asked what you would like to bring to a deserted island. Like, does it make a difference? And these are my starter villages. I'm really happy with them. This is actually the second island that I made. Uh, the first one I had accidentally not set my settings to English. So I started off in Dutch and I didn't really like the villages that I started with. I started with Rene, the new horse villager. And I don't even remember the jog. But not ones that I like, so I didn't really feel too bad about starting over. And I actually like my start fruit better now. I thought I wouldn't mind pears, but apparently I, I'm also on the hate rock for pears. I mean, I don't mind them, but I'm happier with the oranges that I'm starting with right now. Um, I was so excited to get this game. And it feels so good to finally be able to hold it. Uh, what I did note for, at least for myself, in terms of gameplay wise, um, usually I don't time travel. I haven't done it in earlier games, uh, first of the game. But this time, uh, that one day time travel really helped me out um, to kind of get started with things that I wanted to get started on, like living in, the, living in my house and getting the axe and stuff like that to really start a game and do some things that I wanted to do, like going to the other islands. いろいろ
The only thing that I'm still a little bit iffy about, and that's probably just me, are the voices of the villagers. They kind of sound strange to me, and I think I had the same issue with New Leaf when it just came out. I, it's just something that I have to get used to. So that's just me. Um, in picking out the places of the ho homes of the villagers, I actually... Ec English today. Not working. Um, I actually put them... Um, right beside my house, one on the other s one side and one on the other side uh, because I want to make it feel like a little city later on uh, with some streets that actually connect the houses and uh, there is a part uh, where people live and there is a shopping district so I haven't made one of those maps for my island uh, that you could do online uh, because I still want to discover the game and just kind of go with the flow um, so that's why I did that. Uh, that's also why I picked a name for my town. We've, we're not there yet. Uh, but you can read it in the title screen. Uh, or in the title of the, this video. I named my town Turnsby. Uh, now I came up with this name uh, through a town name generator. Back when I restarted my town in New Leaf. And... With that name I kind of promised myself back then New Leaf that I wouldn't reset the town and would just take my time and not try to rush anything. So that is why I use the same name for my island name because of that promise that I still want to keep now in this new version of the game. And for some reason, no one tried to argue with me and turns me what's the name of the island now? And for some reason, I immediately became resident representative of Turnsby. I think neither of my villagers really protested me becoming the representative because they just made the decision to move to an empty island and they didn't really want to take on a permanent role already. So that is why no one was fighting that decision. Um, yeah, this is still uh, the mandatory thing that you have to go through. Uh, and the reason why uh, there are a lot of pictures in this video and not that many clips uh, is because I don't have the right tools to uh, capture the screen of my Nintendo Switch. So I continuously use the camera button on my Switch uh, that can also record videos of about 30 seconds each time. So yeah, that's why that's happening in the video. Uh, at some point I do want to get something to capture the gameplay but it's a bit expensive and I still study so not something that I can do at the moment but I'm saving for it. And I was so excited to see KK and you can actually when you uh, put on the radio that you get from Tom Nook you can just listen to his music. That, that was so epic to me that you could just Listen to everything from him. Mm -hmm. 
Now and this was the end of some look uh, to me saying that I don't own a smartphone so I don't know how to use it. I do know how to use a smartphone, I just don't have one and I wanted to answer him honestly so that's what was what happening was what happening was really words it's because i've been playing the game all day long i just had to fish and focus on getting some bugs <laughs> um but yeah this still confuses me out of nook after all these games and all the players that he moved in he still doesn't know to ask if someone has bells before he moves someone out to a remote island uh, but instead, after you've elected them as your representative, you ask like, Hey, do you even have any bells to pay for this package? And then be surprised that that person doesn't. But yeah, that is Tom Nook basically. And he is a very good raccoon. He, he doesn't... I mean, you don't have to pay interest. And you don't have a set time uh, for which you have to pay back your loan. I mean... How wonderful would it be if that was what ha was what happening in real life? And I immediately, uh, when I time traveled, I immediately got... Uh, oh no, not even time traveled. This was just immediately that day. Yeah. Um, yeah, you immediately getting a letter from Nintendo. Very exciting. And Tommy... Oh, or to me, I've not really been paying attention if they switch it up. But one of them is always running around the island ready to give you some tips. So instead of those little board or those little Yeah, those little boards with notes that you used to have like um in City Folk, now it's Tim or Timmy or Tommy that that is just running around your island ready to give you some tips. And what I found, uh, because I only have two villages, like everyone else, I wanted to talk to them, but they got a little annoyed, I think, because I was talking to them quite a bit. But yeah, then I was like, I want to talk to my villagers, and I kind of want to get to know the game. So, oh, having only two villagers doesn't... I mean, you r run out of neighbors to talk to very easily. So that is also why I think I felt the need to time travel already. Oh yeah, and the DIY. The building, uh, recreating of the materials. In the first 10 minutes of using the flimsy net and the flimsy... Um, Rod. That was what my brain couldn't come up with. The flimsy rod. Um, was that it broke so quickly. And I... At first I was getting kind of annoyed with it. Like, oh, now I have to get some new materials. But you are not charged anything for using the DIY building. And those branches that you need for those flimsy stuff like you can get them very easily and without repercussions so at this point I don't really mind anymore and I don't know I don't mind them no I just don't mind using them anymore <laughs>
So yeah, basically in real life I don't have a smartphone because I, to me those things are just, I don't like them. People are just constantly on them and I know that's a personal choice, but I just personally don't like using them. Um, and now even in Animal Crossing they have not phones that you have to use. Um, and I don't really mind that because there are a lot of cool stuff that you can do with it um, and maybe no I don't know where I'm going with the thought I actually really like the Nook phone and the things that you can I've already unlocked some certain things so yeah I really like it there's just something quaint and something nice about using it and it's not constantly going off even with the Nook Miles, it just rings about one or two times and then it's done. What I really like is that you can finally do something with the can and with the boat that you can actually fish, uh, fish up. Because for so long it was just kind of there, like trash, even in perfect towns. And now we can finally do something with it. And just look in those clips at the footage of the fish moving around in the water. It's so much attention to detail. It's absolutely amazing. And I love these Nook Mile system. I love the little things uh, because I was time traveling because I felt like I had I hadn't that much to do. But after the time traveling for one day and then moving back a day, uh, being back on the 18th, I found myself wanting or thinking about quitting um, for the day and just like I don't know what else to do so I'll just check in tomorrow but then the Nook Mile system with all the things that I could accomplish and still do um, I kept playing so I think that's a very clever mechanic and the reason why in a few photos back I had uh, a lot of fish on the island or on my beach is because I'm one of those people who once I catch something for the first time, I immediately want to give it to Bladders. But of course, he isn't there yet. So I thought, well, I don't have a storage system yet, so I'll just keep it all on my beach. But now that I've upgraded to a house, uh, I have an indoor storage system. And can we just talk about how awesome that system is? And now they are in there, but at first I kept them on my beach. The only thing that until now I found very surprising uh, that I thought like why didn't they put this in the game is when you have your inventory um, and you put stuff out or you play something in a room then there are gaps in between the stuff because you just put something in your room and then you can't drag something from one place to the other in your inventory like your personal inventory that you open with X. Why is that? I Sometimes now I have to put stuff out and then grab them again so that there aren't big giant holes in my inventory. I absolutely hate it. So please give that to us in an update just to be able to drag something in my inventory or at least grab it with a mouse with the hand. So. It's so annoying.
and the DIY recipes. Oh my lord, I have found so many already. In just two or three days of playing now, um, it's my first day but in game two or three days, I have found so many, so many message bottles on the beach and just getting so many from my villages already. It's kind of, I didn't think it would go this fast, but I absolutely love it because there's so much cool stuff to make and I just can't wait to get so much of it done. I absolutely love, love this mechanic. This video may be a bit longer than the other ones in the future are going to be, but it's because everything is new and I'm just so excited to see everything and I want to show you guys all of the stuff that I'm seeing for the very first time. So the reason why this video is so long is mostly because of pure excitement and just discovering the game. If you haven't got it yet, for whatever reason and you are planning on doing so, hopefully this video will show you why it's an amazing little game. And I can't wait for all the updates and for it to be something amazing. And I can't wait to see all the holidays and see some new special characters maybe. I just can't wait to start Bunny Day. I hope April Fools is back with something of collecting the pictures of villagers. That le little leaf umbrella was one of the first DIY uh, recipes that I got. It's so adorable. It's one of my favorite umbrellas. So I was so happy to see it here and immediately start out with it. Oh, and you use weeds. That's the only things that you use. And the money spot of the original Animal Crossing is back. Of course I saw it in other videos, but it was so exciting to see it for the first time in my actual game. And because I was using the Dodo Airlines to go to other remote islands a lot, I was able to buy some shovels and axes with my Nook mileage points. Oh yeah, and because of the time travel, I also got Timmy and Tommy to already suggest building uh, a shop for them. So that's what I'm working on. Uh, at this point I only have to have some more iron, I think it is.
with the points of nook i just kind of felt like i don't want to make any stupid mistakes and buy stuff that i really don't need like the clothes i mean at some point i would be cute but the tool ring was something that i really wanted and those hairstyles i want to save up for them but i really like the dodo airlines the little visits that you can make to remote islands where you can find a new villager per island and maybe some new fruit and um flowers so that is what i'm spending a lot of my points on but also because you can earn points so easily that i didn't really feel bad for spending them on these little trips instead of immediately getting the tool ring and stuff like i now have the tool ring but i don't really use it i don't really feel like it's a necessary tool that i would have missed if it wasn't there because my tools are still in my inventory. So I don't really get what the tool ring is for at this moment. Maybe for some quicker changing between tools. But at this point I haven't really needed it yet. And I'm still just going through my tools in the way I used to do in New Leaf. Which is pushing the left and right arrows. Oh yeah, this is one of the, this was the first island that I went to uh, with a free ticket from Tom Nook. I was so so excited to see the villager that was here, and I immediately invited them to my island. And I don't think that they can refuse because I've been to three islands now, and I've asked all three villagers to come to my island, and they're all coming. So I have no idea how that's going to work and if they will all, all three of them will get a place. But I will try my darnest to make it happen. Look at little Melba. That was the first one. I was so excited to see her. One of my friends was over at my place and she was just looking at me like, what are you doing? It's just a koala. But Melba is so adorable and I'm so happy to see her there. I was like, you have to come to my island. I don't know what it will take, but I will do anything for you. So yeah, Melba is coming. I don't know how, but um, maybe we will. I will see that tomorrow in game. And you will see it in Saturday's video. But I will try... Go that. No. I'm sorry, my dog has taken a pet. I will be right back. I love those dodos. I absolutely love them. And I already got uh, some cherries uh, from my mother, I think, in in game, not my real mother. And I got some peaches from one of the islands. So I'm already busy collecting and the coconuts, so I'm collecting fruits already. Oh, 
And I've placed uh, my villages right next to my house because eventually, like I said, I want to build a small town. I think it's going to look really pretty. Uh, for now, I've just placed the flowers there um, because I want to grow them and I want to see if I can make some hybrids already, even though I don't have a watering can. So this will be a good test on how that works. What was interesting is on one on the isle of the islands, I found a fossil. Uh, right now I can't reach the fossils in turn speed yet because I don't have a faulting pole or a bridge. But I found one on an island and it was only on one of the three islands. So I'm really interested to see if you can get some rare fossils there or how that mechanic works and why I was able to find it there. And this was so exciting that there is l that are limited papers to write letters on. I letters i was so excited to see that and it made me immediately want to write i love writing my villages especially to get the pictures so that is something that i immediately did and this was the little island with peaches and with bubbles who is now also moving to my island still don't know how but we're going to find out I mean, I've never had these villages before. Like all of the ones that I talked to today and that I have on my island right now, I've never had them in one of my towns. So I'm really excited to get to know them and to start out with these new villages that I don't know yet, to give them a fair chance to get inside my town. Yeah, I'm personally not a fan of the flower crown, uh, mainly because it literally sits on top of your head instead of it being slightly pushed down so it looks kind of like it's staying in one place. But yeah, maybe I'm just whining about little details, but that's me. I also really like the lighting at night, because if you move away from the house, the lighting kind of shifts. And there's so much attention to detail, it's absolutely nuts and I love it. And this is the third villager that I invited to my island, Rodeo. I've never had him before and I'm really excited to have him. I just think he looks really cool. I have no idea where I'm going to put these villagers, especially with, as you can see, the island setup that I have. It's a very small part that I can explore right now. So maybe I should have chosen another map, but I think it's cute that I can start out in a little isolated area and I kind of make my way uh, through it later on. 
These tours have also to smaller islands have been very useful to get the axe and the shovel because I wasn't able to get those materials um, in my own on my own island because I didn't have the axe and the shovel. So now I have them because you can buy them and I stuck up on those items when I go to a new island to discover. I just already love the look of my island, how it's all come, just kind of starting out. I absolutely love it. And at first I felt a little bit overwhelmed uh, when seeing the videos of other people like placing stuff down outside. I thought I would never put something outside because I wouldn't know what to do. But because of the DIY recipes that you get and because your home is very small, you start to put some things outside and to mix some things together and I very quickly got into it and I'm very excited to see what I can put outside and what I want to put outside. And this is the opening of the day so I thought it would be interesting to see. So yeah, this is going to happen from every day onwards now. Instead, uh, it's just not happening if you time travel backwards. I'm not sure. Yeah, this happened when I went forwards. So it just doesn't happen if you move time travel backwards. Um, very logical because you should have already played through the day. I think that's why the game doesn't do it. But yeah, I really love how the villagers also mention things that are happening in their surroundings like when I got this hat that I'm wearing from Monty he actually mentioned like hey you are wearing the hat that I gave you and hey your house upgraded that's cool they are more responsive to the things that are happening around them because after I placed uh, the flowers outside of my home Frita actually started the discussion about uh, the flowers. Well, that may have been completely random, but I just liked how they at least appear to be more aware of what is happening in their surroundings to make it feel like they are actually alive. Oh, and these are the conf this is the conversation about the shop that they want to build, that I have to build. And because of the tours, I actually got a lot of the wood already. Uh, they, I, I already have all the wood. I just have to, like 15 iron nuggets or something left to get. Um, and it shouldn't be a problem with the tours. So I think my town is going to develop pretty quickly. And that all because of one or two days of time travel. And I've already also paid a lot of the 98,000 um, bells back for the new upgrade. I have about 50,000 left, so that's probably going to happen tomorrow. It's kind of moving quicker than I thought it would be, but I'm really having a lovely time. And if you st if you're in doubt if you want to get this game. I would highly recommend it if you like something slower paced and if you like these sort of games. If you're into fighting or one of the, then maybe this is a bit boring, but this is something that you can commit to for the long run, I think. It's going to be enjoyable for a very long time. But for now, I want to thank you for watching this video. 
let me know if you get the game or if you're planning on getting the game. And for now, I hope that you are in a safe place and you have a great day. Goodbye.